I am Apostle Dr. Oche Ambrose Emerson of Apostolic Fire Outreaches. I'm inviting you to tune in to the Tobago Inspirational Network for Apostolic Fire Prayers every Wednesday at 6 p.m. It's a time of healing. It's a time of deliverance. It's a time of warfare prayers. This is Apostle Dr. Oche Ambrose Emerson, and I am glad to be part of this uh, network. It's an opportunity to be a blessing to the body of Christ. It's an opportunity to share the gospel. I've always uh, looked for such opportunity to speak and preach and teach and also pray. You see, uh, the body of Christ is so important to know and to discover that Jesus gave different gifts. And if you know your place, then you will not be sidetracked. I have been preaching for more than 30 years because I started very early. And uh, I want to let you know that um, Jesus is still in the business of helping those who come to him. And uh, I want to quickly read from the book of Philippians, and I will be sharing some few words with you this morning, and then I will pray with you. Philippians chapter 4, verse number 6, it says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. The question then is, what are those requests? Somebody said, but God knows everything, so why should I pray? God is principled. He knows you need what you are asking for, but you have to ask. That is his principle. You need to pray. God does not force himself on anyone, but when you draw close to him, he will draw close to you. And that is why this morning he is saying, let your request be made known unto him. What is your request? Are you sick? What is your request? You need a job? What is your request? You need a good relationship that will end in a beautiful and peaceful marriage? What is your request? You want your children saved? What are your requests? You want a good job? You need promotion in your workplace? Are you having a difficult neighbor? Or neighbors? Are, are you living in a, an environment where it looks as if uh, the neighbors are into some kind of things that are dark? Things related to the dark powers and the dark spirits. Remember the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6 that we are not wrestling against human beings. Our fight is not, is not against flesh and blood, but against principality, powers, rulers of darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. So the Bible is saying, make your request known unto God. Then I go down to verse number 13. Verse number 13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I want to announce to you that you can do all things through Christ who gives you the power, who gives you the energy, who gives you the ability. You can do all things. I have been talking to somebody for a while who is kind of disturbed by some uh, evil spirits or demons or things. By the way, that is the area God gave me much insight and much assignment, the area of getting foul spirits and demons and devils out of people. All right. It's supposed to be something that every child of God needs to do. But unfortunately, many are not obeying that command. He said, cast out devils. Why? Because in Luke chapter 10, verse number 19, he said, I give unto you power. To do what? To tread upon serpents, 
scorpions and all the powers of the enemy and he said nothing shall by any means hurt you and in matthew chapter 10 if you read verse 1 jesus gathered the disciples together and gave them power over unclean spirits to do what to cast them out and some of us we dwell in that area because our world is plagued with these powers all right and if you go to revelation chapter 12 you can see that there had been war in heaven and the war it's a spiritual it was an astral war it was a fierce angelic world and the bible let us know if you go to the book of genesis some things that preceded the creation and when you go into history you discover what is called the antediluvian world where whatever was there was completely mashed out and annihilated because of the fierce angelic war all right but then we live in the world where there are spiritual conflicts the bible says we are wrestling we are in a fight what do you do about it and a lot of people have hurdles, they have blockages, they have things they cannot understand. Some people get up with marks all over their body. Some people get up with excruciating pain, they cannot understand what brought it there. But because we are spiritually inclined, we know where these things are coming from. And the Bible says, do what? Make your request known unto God. All right? And you can do all things. You can pray. You can bind the devils. You can cast them out. All right? So by the grace of God, I am a missionary in Trinidad and Tobago. And I have some new work going on in the, the capacity of apostolic fire outreaches. Apostolic fire outreaches. Uh, we have a base in Bon Accord. All right, and every Thursday to Sunday, I am there in Bon Accord. All right, and you can access the address. How do you get there? After penny savers, all right, after penny savers, you get to the traffic light and then you drive into Star Bay Local Road. You pass right in front of B Mobile Office and up, up a little bit, you will see a signboard is rent a car, A C E rent a car and you will see uh, my banner right at the gate there so we have a chapel there thursday friday saturday sunday every two weeks because i have to spend a week in trinidad too so every two weeks i'm in tobago or sometimes a week interval i'm in tobago all right and we're doing by the grace of god intercessory prayers we are doing warfare prayers we are praying miracle hour prayers for healing for deliverance and for all that the same thing in trinidad i'm at arima all right and i do most programs at arima at uh, david street of uh, pedro alfonso street and off cleaver road so from the eastern main road you drive into Cleaver Road, then you divert through Pedro Alfonso Street, and then you get to Dennis Street, and then David Street, the last house on the right. Is, it's an upstairs and downstairs house. I hold meetings there. Then I also hold meetings at Aranguez in San Juan. All right, that is Abdul Ghani Street at Aranguez, San Juan. If you want to get there, if you are not driving, you just get down at San Juan there at the Quizzy. You look for Aranguez Taxi. You pick, you pick Aranguez Taxi, tell them to get you down at Abdul Ghani Street. All right? And uh, as time goes on, I will give you the other venues in Sangri Grande. Also in, um, what is the other place? In Pittsburgh and uh, in San Fernando. Also, we, we are going to be having meetings in Diego Martins, in Point 14, and all the other places, Princess Town, and you will be updated. All right, so I want us to do some prayers this morning. As I told you, we do a lot of prayer warfare. Now, having said what I said, the Word of God said, you can pray, you can ask, you can tell God, this is what I want. I want to pray for you right now that the power of God and the Spirit of the Lord will come upon you. You can do all things. Say, oh God, my Father, give me the power to do all things. Give me the power 
to do all things. Oh God, my Father, give me the power to do all things. In Jesus' name. You take the next prayer. Say, my Father, my Father, my Father. Release your supernatural fire upon my life. Release your supernatural power upon my life and begin to burn the works of darkness. Begin to burn the works of darkness in my spirit, soul, and body. Yes, pray that prayer and pray it well. Oh God, my Father, release your supernatural fire. The flames of fire. The fire that was with Moses. The fire that was with Elijah. Release that fire. Let it burn the works of darkness in my life. In Jesus' name, we pray. You know, I was on, on radio yesterday, 99.5 uh, FM, and uh, somebody had called and said, Apostle, I have not slept for a long while. I said, when did you sleep last? He can't even remember. Why? Because he was under oppression. There are things that come upon him in the night. Remember the Bible says, when men slept, the enemy planted tears. Physically, tears are like, you know, weed among the wheat, grass. All right? So spiritually, when people sleep, the enemy can come with sicknesses, with diseases, with afflictions, with things, and put on their bodies. And when they get up, they get up with all kinds of pains and marks and torture and torment. Some even have red spots right on their bodies. And they, they mention names like Sukunya, they mention names like witches, they mention names like war, warlocks and all those things that come to bite them. But I want to tell you, there is power in the name of Jesus. The Bible says you will tread upon these things. So pray this next prayer. Say, oh God, my Father, release your angelic forces to deal with these entities, these wicked powers, these demons, these evil spirits. Release your angelic powers to destroy their activities. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say evil altars. Evil altars working against me. In the name of Jesus, I command you to begin to burn with heavy fire. Begin to burn with heavy fire. Begin to burn with heavy fire in the name of Jesus. Begin to burn with heavy fire in the name of Jesus. Begin to burn with heavy fire. Begin to burn with heavy fire. Begin to burn with heavy fire in the name of Jesus. Begin to burn with heavy fire in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. You know, the Bible says in Psalm 91 that there are arrows that fly by day. In the name of Jesus, you pray like this Say, evil arrows flying in my direction. In the name of Jesus, I command you to be broken in pieces and burned to ashes. Evil arrows flying in my direction. I command you to be broken in pieces and burned to ashes. Be broken in pieces and burned to ashes. Be broken in pieces and burned to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Say, arise, O God. Surround me with your fire. Arise, O oh God, surround me with your fire. Arise, O oh God, surround me with your fire. In the name of Jesus. Arise, O oh God, surround me with your fire. Arise, O oh God, surround me with your fire. Arise, O oh God, surround me with your fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. I tell you, spiritual issues are very deep. I met someone who told me a story. He said, his spiritual, no, not his spiritual father. He was talking about someone he regards as his father. He was there in the night sleeping, and the wife was in the other room, and suddenly it was in the night, very late in the night, past 12 midnight, and the woman saw somebody standing in the sitting room, and she was wondering, how did this fellow get in there? And she was trying to get to the man and ask him, what are you doing in my house? And the man went down and crawled into the husband's room. So the woman followed him, got in there, and he couldn't see anybody. So he woke up the husband and said, somebody entered this room. And the husband searched, and everybody searched. Nobody was seen. 
And uh, the man said, woman, nobody is here. Can you go lie down? I want to rest. I'm tired. I want to sleep. And the man went to bed. The woman went back to her room wondering what is going on. And suddenly the husband got up again, came to the sitting room and said, I'm feeling so hot. I wonder why the AC is not giving me what I want. But the woman said, but everywhere is chill. Why are you feeling hot? The man said, I don't understand. And then he came to the sitting room and lay on the floor, took off his shirt, lay on the floor so he can be cold. But he was getting hotter. And before morning, that man had a stroke. Before morning. And that was it. He never talked again until he passed. What happened? You, you can't relate that to something pathological or medical. That is a pure spiritual attack. If the woman had understood spiritual matters, she would have raised spiritual warfare and dealt with the issue. Now, I want you to pray. The Bible says when men slept, the enemy planted tears. Say, oh God, my father, surround my house with your fire. Surround my house with your fire. Surround my living room with your fire. Surround my house with your fire. Oh God, my father. Surround your, surround me, surround me, oh God, with your power, oh God, with your anointing, surround me with your unction, surround me with your mighty fire, surround me with your mighty fire, let your fire burn around my house, let your fire burn around my room, let your fire burn around my location, and burn every activity of witches and wizards, every activity of the occult, every activities of demonic powers in the name of Jesus. Let your fire burn. Let your fire burn. In Jesus' name we pray. Now listen to me. This prayer we are praying really cannot help you if you are not born again. You know why? Because God is angry with the sinner. He loves the sinner, yes, but he is angry with the sinner every day. If you are not born again, this prayer cannot help you. You have to be born again. All right? And remember, Jesus can come anytime. He says, whatever you are able to amass, whatever you are able to gather, in terms of wealth, in terms of affluence and influence, in terms of education, you may have the best degree. You may, have, you may be a professor. All right, you may, you may have all the military power. You might be a general, a field marshal. You, you might be, you know, at the top of your career. But if you are not born again, I tell you, it will not help you. If you are not born again, you can't go far. Jesus can help you. And remember, the devil we are dealing with is a powerful devil. In the book of Revelation, he's called the, the great red dragon. And the Bible says in New Testament that you can't get into the strong man's house and take what he has stolen from you, except you have the ability to first bind him. So he is not a weak fellow. You can deal with him. The first step is for you to get born again. I don't know what is holding you back from being born again. Are you bound by addiction? Are you bound by some plagues? Are you bound by some sickle of friends you cannot be able to do away with? I want to tell you that Jesus loves you. He's ready to help you. Uh, just come as you are. You said, but I find it difficult to throw the bottle of that rum away. Don't bother about that. Just pray the right prayer. Or you, you said, but I don't know how to do away with um, this addiction to this particular uh, you know, substance. Do you don't bother about that. Just pray sincerely from your heart and he will help you. Or you said, I have been so promiscuous and I don't know what to do about it. How do I get saved? Just pray sincerely from your heart. You know why? As many as call him, as many as come to him, he gave the power to become children of God, to become sons of God. To become daughters of God. As many as call upon his name in faith. Believing that he is able to help them. Alright, I want to pray for you right now. You want to give your life to Jesus. I am praying for you. You repeat after me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Help me. Deliver me. 
from the clutches of Satan. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life. I believe, oh God, that you can change my situation. Wash me clean with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name. If you have prayed that prayer sincerely from your heart, wherever you are from, and you're listening to this broadcast, look for a good church where the word of God is taught in truth and in spirit. Be part of that fellowship and it will be well with you. Now, before I go off air, let me quickly give you my phone contact. You can reach me. I'm currently in Trinidad and Tobago. And of course, you know the code plus one, uh, 868. Then my direct line is 335. 9049 335 9049 all right so and right now i am doing a program in bon Accord in tobago so you can meet me tonight i am there tonight i am there tomorrow saturday and then sunday i will be there all right if you don't know how to get there you just call my number if you're in trinidad and tobago 335 9049 yeah 335 9049 and i will speak with you and i will give you the direction all right i am glad to be part of this network and uh, we are going to be sharing the word of god together every week all right i bless you with the blessings of abraham isaac and jacob it's well within the morning it's well within the afternoon it's well within the night in the mighty name of Jesus, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we bless you. I pray right now for all of you that are bound by chains of Satan. I command that chain to be broken in the name of Jesus. I speak against the powers that are holding some people from sleeping. I command the power to be broken. I command the power to be broken in the name of Jesus be set free be healed in your head be healed in your kidney your liver your spleen your belly region your blood your bones your marrows wherever you are sick be healed in the name of jesus let god's fire look at you where you are let the fire of god burn every work of witchcraft around you in the name of jesus be free in jesus name Amen, amen, amen. Once again, this Apostle Dr. Oche Ambrose Emerson, greeting you from Tobago. And my contact number again, 335-9049. God bless you. Until I come your way again, bye-bye. I am Apostle Dr. Oche Ambrose Emerson of Apostolic Fire Outreaches. I'm inviting you to tune in to the Tobago Inspirational Network for Apostolic Fire Prayers every Wednesday at 6 p.m. It's a time of healing. It's a time of deliverance. It's a time of warfare prayers.